All right, now welcome back to the Law of Lawson. And so, um, yeah, we got a little uh, different thing today. I'm not gonna have as many slides, but Melissa and I have have a good show uh, ready for you today. Melissa is is, is my uh, um, on hand studio. Um, what do you call what do they call people back in the studio? Anyway, yeah, the producer. There you go. She's my producer, and 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 she's doing a great job. So anyway. Um, so what we're going to talk about today, uh, it was just video, it has been like, <laughs> I mean, people, something else, there's been a lot of videos about people, they just don't want to wear masks, right? So now we see here in Hawaii, and for those viewers of mine and friends on the mainland, I know you kind of deal with the same thing, but right now, Hawaii's on a, like an uptick in uh, our, our testing, um, our reported positive cases here, right? And so instead of going down and flattening the curve, our curve is actually, we ain't even got a damn curve, it's just going back up, right? So anyway, so. And so you, you got people that just don't wanna wear a mask, right? So the governor here has mandated that we should wear a mask whenever we're out and about. And you see some of these people on the mainland, and we had them here in Hawaii early on, you know, they wanna go down to the state house and protest their right to be free from wearing the mask. now. And then they got flags and they come down there, you know, like in the mainland, they came, you know, to the state house in uh, what was it, Michigan. They had loaded firearms and guns, demanding the right not to wear a mask. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Anyway. Oh, so so now you got these people here. We got a couple of people here in Hawaii, uh, you know, and and they go into the store and they just go in without a face mask on, right? And 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 they say, well, it's their right to do this, even though they can be carrying an illness or the virus, not know that they're carrying the virus and then spread it, asymptomatic, right? They, they, they actually had a virus in them. They're showing no symptoms of it. They're walking around with no mask on and they're spreading the virus. And so and just knuckleheads and, and somehow they feel like this is living in some type of uh, communistic state or, you know, authoritarian state to where when the governor says, look, you know, this stuff is killing people. Uh, it's causing people to be extremely sick. We're trying to protect, you know, our citizens who may be vulnerable to the virus. So, well, you know, I mandate you wear a mask because it's almost an emergency. So, Melissa, do you, so some of these people had these cars made up. Melissa, you got it. You gotta, I'm sorry for laughing. Some of this shit's just comical though. So you got people walking into a store and stuff like that. <laughs> with, with, literally, right? Melissa found this on the internet, but they're, they're using it with a face mask exempt card. I am exempt from ordinance requiring face mask usage in public. Wearing a face mask poses a mental and slash or physical risk to me under the Americans with Disabilities Act. I'm not required to disclose my condition to you. Department of Justice, ADA violation reporting number. That has, I mean, I don't know who says this is around. <laughs> and so Melissa just found this before the show came on because I was just going to show you a video in a, sec in a second. But um, so I, that was my first time actually reading it. <laughs> I mean, you got to wonder, these people are sick. Oh, so they come up with, so they walk into the store and they get they, without a mask and they, they hand this stuff. And so what? what's the truth? The ADA so we do our research here at the Law at Law. So we just don't come on here uh, pulling out, pulling stuff out of our rear ends uh, with a absolutely no way to back it up. We got research, right? Legal research. You know, the ADA does not provide blanket exemption from face mask requirements. It just, it, there's no ADA. That's that's to me that's fraudulent. It's almost like you know. Let me let me back up. When the governor issues an emergency order, right? The law allows governors in certain circumstances, right? When there's emergency declarations and stuff like that to issue emergency orders. Now, it cannot be an order issue from here going forward. If you notice, if you go back to here in Hawaii, when this pandemic first started, the governor issued an emergency order. It will go for, he'll say like 30 days. And then he'll issue what they call the second emergency order, right? Because it just, right, legislature makes the law. Remember your your civ, your, what do they call that class? You know, in high school, civ, civ, civil, I don't know, citizenship, whatever the hell it was. You, well, I don't know what y'all took. Actually, I was in, I was, I used to skip a lot of these classes 
when I was in school, caught up to me. And went, that's another story about why you need to make sure you stay in class. We'll do a, uh, another program on that on my YouTube channel. But back to this. And so the governor issues a, uh, uh, an emergency order, right? That becomes law. Keep in mind, it's only temporary. It can only be done in emergency situations. You see it when there's floods, uh, hurricanes, and stuff like that. Um, and here with this pandemic. And so it does be, my point is it does become the law, right? And so the governor issued an emergency order a few weeks ago, mandating that masks be worn in public, wherever you're at, right? And, and, and in businesses um, where there are a lot of people around. So when you come up and you have, can we put that card back up there real quick, Melissa? So when you walk into, so if you, it's almost like me driving without a license and I got a fake license. That, that's a crime, right? And so if, to me, I think you could, I'm, there's no, you may be charged with some type of fraud or, or, or some type of uh, intent to deceive. I don't know what it could be called. I'm just thinking of this because Melissa just found this card. But to me, it's almost equivalent to, 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 to giving a fake ID. Right or to using uh, um, um, some type of fake document to circumvent the law, fake social security number, et cetera. Because what you're saying is that this card says that you don't have to follow the law. And, and so again, you can take that off. So anyway, um, so yeah. And so what, are, what is the law? What, so what if you do, so what if you, if you walk, if you're in the store and somebody doesn't have a mask on and you say, miss, you know, um, I mean, you may have forgotten your mask out in the car. I, that happened to me. I went to Long's and as soon as I, no, I went into FedEx and I was walking into FedEx with my packages and I forgot my mask in the car. And as soon as I stepped foot in the door, one of the workers was like, hey. So I was like, and I knew right then, it's like, damn, I forgot my mask. So I had to go out and get my mask. Let's say you in the store, you see some, let's, you see a lady in there. Let's, let's call her Karen. So you see Karen in the store, Karen ain't got no mask on. And you say, hey, um, miss, can you put your mask on? And she start yelling at you like, I, I, you know, I got a disability, la, la, la. You get, get the store manager, store manager comes over, ma'am, you gotta wear a mask. Or, and she says, I have a disability and I don't have to wear a mask. And you can't ask you what my disability is. Does the store manager have to serve it according by law? So uh, Melissa, can you show them this video? Um, and then after Melissa shows you the video, we'll come back on the other side. And if you want to comment in the comment section as you're watching this on YouTube or whatever you're watching it on about whether or not you think the store manager has to honor the request or whether or not you think the store manager can kick her out, you can comment before I come back. All right, I have my items I'm trying to check out at the store. I've just been shopping for about a half hour got all my things and I'm just trying to check out and the manage are you the manager I'm the health and safety manager for the company okay okay and by you acting with what you're doing you put the rest of the store and the other people here up I, there. but you're um violating my Americans with Disability Act right so I'm trying to check out you're arguing with me where you're within my six feet of of space and if you have a mask and it works then what's the problem with me not having a mask? Ma'am, you're not supposed to be in the store without a yes, mask. Yes, I am, because I have a breathing condition. You cannot deny me service due to a disability. It's Americans Disability Act. It's a $95,000 fine. Ma'am, I have medication, but you've facility? actually, it doesn't matter. You have to yes, uh, provide, you have to provide service to people in wheelchairs, just like you have to provide service to me. You cannot deny me that. Are you saying you're gonna deny me based on a disability because I cannot wear a mask? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying you're not you are gonna not let me following check the laws that have been There's no law. Yes, there no, law. sir, don't yes, lie to there me. Is. There is no law. Do you we know how a law right is made? To anyone no, you not don't. Not based rules. on yes, a disability. We yes, we do. Not based on a disability. Yes, we do. You do not have the right to deny me service based on a disability. If we have a facility that is set up for the regulations that have been put I've been standing here government. arguing with longer than it would have taken me to check out. So it's not about that and you cannot deny me service based on a disability. What part of that don't you understand? It's a $95,000 fine do you have a for the Americans Disability Act. Do you have a yes, I do. We'll pick that up at the membership counter, okay? 
I we still, cannot allow people to come into our facility. I have my office. items. I want to leave, and you will not let me leave with that with my items. That's against my HIPAA. So you want to know my medical condition? Is that because that's a twenty-five thousand dollars fine on top of the ninety-five thousand no, dollars fine? fine. You can yeah, it is. You cannot ask me about my medical that. condition. You don't know the law, sir. So please don't quote it because I do. I do know my rights. I do know the law. You're telling me wearing a mask is the law, and that's wrong. Wearing a mask is not a law. Can we it's make sure a, that we get our membership information, and we'll just turn this over to the authorities? It's an executive order. It's not a law. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. You need to check me out. You're denying me service. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just call her Karen. And oh man, where do you start? So uh, maybe some of you all have already done it. You you put into the comment section underneath this YouTube video that yeah, he shouldn't have denied Karen the right. Karen has a right not to wear the mask because she has a disability, um, and he has to let her shot with the disability. And so much to unwrap here, but okay. So you know, you know, when when you go to a store and it says no shoes, no shirts, no service. Okay, no shoes, no shirts, no masks, no service. Period. Right now, what does what does the ADA actually say? So first of all, those cards. Let's make sure we address this clearly. Those cards that Melissa showed you earlier, that one right there, bogus. So whoever you see one like that, it, no. The ADA says, you know, that, that they do not have uh, those cards. Those cards are fake. Um, there's also cards talking about, uh, or at least sheets from the that claim to be from the Department of Justice for these exemptions. The Department of Justice has said those are fakes too. So what? So if a person truly has a disability, what must the store do? So you, you could have a person that has a disability. There was one man, he was on a military base and the military denied him the right to come into the commissary. And because of his injuries, he had actually no ears. So there was, at, at, and he had a breathing problem too, but he could not actually put a mask on his head because none of the masks, you know, he had no ears, literally. Uh, and he had a breathing problem. And the commissary just point blank denied him the right to come in there, right? They got in trouble. Um, now, what you can do, you, there has to be reasonable accommodations. And so if the store says, hey, you can't come in, right? you got a disability. I mean, you, you can't come, you don't have a mask on. Person, I got a disability. And, and you believe them. Well, you, you can do curbside uh, shopping. Ma'am, can you give us your list and we will go in and you stay right here, we'll shop it for you and, and bring it out to you. You can pay online or whatever, right? They have. There's a lot of that going on. So that is uh, providing a reasonable accommodation. What can a store owner not do? The store owner cannot say to the, to the, to the uh, client or to the, uh, not client, to the uh, uh, shopper, what's your disability? Right, that is a violation of the ADA. You can't ask the person specifically what the disability is. What you can ask them is, uh, do you have a disability? And how does not wearing a mask accommodate that? Dis and then they can explain, and that's it. There's only two questions you can ask legally, all right? But if, the, if you believe a person does have a disability, then you can, you can uh, uh, provide the reasonable accommodation. Now, in this video, you hear her say that she has medication. And some people, you know, have, and, and again, we don't have time to watch it again, but some people have thought that they heard the store manager say that he would go out or, or maybe the young lady who's working at the store, I think it's called Chef something, I forget. Melissa, what was the name of that? Chef, Chef, Chef Zone or something like that. I've never been there. Um, but, but some people say that they can hear either him or her say to, the, uh, to Karen, hey Karen, we can actually go out and, and shop for you and you can wait on the curbside, something similar to that. I didn't hear that. Um, but there's another thing that comes up. He says, are you a member? Do you have a membership here? 
Now, those of you that shop at Costco, remember you have a membership there. That's different from going into uh, Walmart. Walmart, you don't need a membership. So you know how, this, I'm, I'm gonna give you this legal advice for free. You know how when you're walking out of Walmart, there's people are waiting there talking about, can you show me your receipt? And then you actually show them your receipt at Walmart. You don't have to do that. They have no right to stop you. They do it, right? But they at, at Walmart, they have no right to stop you. You can say, sir, I ain't showing. And I tell them, uh, you know, I know they think I'm, but I, look, I, ain't, I haven't stole nothing. You ain't seen me take nothing. So I ain't stopping for you. And I don't show them junk. Now, when I go to Costco, I stop and I show it. Why? What's the difference? The difference is Costco, I, I, you know, I'm a member. It's like a private club, so to speak. And you can only shop there if you're a member. And by becoming a member, you agree to certain rules. And what he was asking her at this chef, whatever this place is called, uh, chef zone. I ain't never been a chef zone. But apparently, those of you that have been, at least for me watching this video, you hear him ask Karen, hey, Karen, uh, you got a membership here? And she says, yeah. Well, if you got a membership there, at that point, uh, you got to buy by certain rules, like, like I said before. So when, when, when I leave Costco, they say, if you want a membership here, part of your membership means that uh, when we ask you for your receipt upon departure, you have to show us your receipt. And it's time for us to look in your cart. You agree to that by becoming a member. Now, you don't want to do that. Don't become a member, right? And you pay for that annual membership. You go to Walmart, they try to do the same thing there, right? And, but they, but they can't, they're, 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 right? They're not a private club, so to speak. They're an open um, 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 grocery store, whatever you want to call it. And so in order to be detained there, they have to have some type of reasonable suspicion or probable cause to believe that you engage in illegal activity. If not, they have no, if they tried to stop you from leaving Walmart, for not showing your, your receipt, you could actually sue them, right? For, for either if they try to put their hands on you and stop you, whatever, uh, yeah, for like a false arrest or something to that effect, right? Unlawful detainment. So I just walk right by them. They say, sir, can I? I was like, no, you can't see my receipt. <laughs> Cause they don't, they don't, and when they do that, they ain't looking at nothing. All they do, you know what they do? They, and then they just had, had a little yellow marker like this, right? Let me check it out, man. You could have all kinds of shit in your cart that don't match what's on that receipt. They ain't paying no attention, man. So anyway, y'all getting me distracted. Let's get back to Karen and the ADA. And so again, you have to provide reasonable accommodation. So let's say that you don't have curbside check-in or a curbside service. And so Karen comes into your store. Right? And she says, hey, I do have a disability. Right? And, and I, for whatever reason, I got asthma or I can't, you know, and, and me breathing through this mask will exacerbate a pre-existing uh, um, uh, breathing condition. And so my doctors told me or whatever. So she's volunteering this information to you. Can you say, I don't care, Karen, you have to wear a mask in this store and no matter what. And so it's credible that she has a disability in, in the store and it says, well, you can still got to go. Well, Karen can sue, right? Because if you don't, you have to provide some type of reasonable accommodation. They have to be able to, right? And so whether or not you, you could have a face shield there, give them a face shield, right? Okay, you can't wear a mask, but we got, we got uh, you know how you walk into these stores and they got them little electric, um, um, what do you call them things? Wheelchairs, whatever, you know, like wheelchair shopping carts and stuff like that to accommodate those that, that, that are disabled. And so, um, you know, the store owner would be well advised if you're not gonna have um, a, an accommodation, a reasonable accommodation to bring people out to the, um, to, to, you know, bring the groceries outside, curbside check-in, then you would be well advised to have some type of face shield um, for those individuals. Hey, but if somebody's coming in with that card or with some type of uh, form from the Justice Department, talking about 95,000, I mean, 
sometimes knowing a little bit of law, she thought she could come in and intimidate people. Now, why she just didn't wear a mask, I have no idea. She's talking pretty loud. I don't know if she has a disability or not, but she didn't have any problem breathing right then. But it's almost like, you know, to, see, this is why I don't tell y'all a whole lot about the law, because too much law in the hands of people that, that are just kind of crazy is dangerous. So here's a lady that thinks she knows the law and is in there spouting off $95,000. Why don't you tell that guy? And, and $95,000 fine and some type of, of uh, 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 issue with what, what he can do and what he can't do. And that by doing this creates a different type of fine. I mean, she's just going straight up Karen in there. Right? And eventually she just left uh, rather than just wearing a mask. And so I don't know. Uh, and as far as this is concerned, you're going to still see people do this. You're going to still see people push back on this. Um, but the COVID pandemic is serious, as we can see here in Hawaii. Uh, our, our our emergency rooms are being filled up again. The, our department of Hum uh, uh, Department of Health. You now, some of you guys, you don't pay attention to this, but you can probably Google Department of Health. Uh, Dr. Anderson, he's not a real doctor. Uh, like he's not a real medical doctor. He's like some type of PhD. And I, you know, I don't know about you, but if I have some type of medical problem, I don't go see a PhD. I try to go see what they call an MD. And so to have a PhD at the head of a medical issue, i.e. this uh, pandemic, never made sense to me at all. But they've messed it up so bad here it looks like in a couple of days, the governor's going to, have to issue uh, another uh, uh, shutdown order or more severe restrictions uh, with respect to stay at home orders or something to, because our rates are rising. And our rates are rising in part because we got so many Karens out here who just don't want to mask up. Right. And, and, and the experts have shown throughout the United States by just wearing a mask, you, you can save lives and prevent the spread of disease. It will help flatten the curve. And so we have to do our part. But some of us are so selfish that we'd rather just uh, live free and let you die. Remember that old saying, <laughs> live free or die? Uh, live free while you die. Uh, it could be the new model that some of these cameras out here using. So with that being said, this will be the end of our show. Again, uh, this will be my school starting next week, right? So I got to teach law classes online to my UH law students here. So this is my last show, but I've enjoyed uh, coming here for the last few weeks, at least trying to entertain you in some form or fashion, but you can catch me on my own YouTube channel, um, The Law with Lawson. But until uh, next time, you guys be safe and I'll see you sometime in the future. I'm out.